let's go. We got my six by nine method. Six by nine means six sets of nine reps. It's pretty simple, but there's some very important details with it. Six sets by nine reps. You'll see a plus beside the nine. That means nine reps at least or more. Nine reps or more. The other tricky part, making sure you only rest 30 seconds in between each set maximum. So that's 30 seconds or less. For the six sets, what you want for the first three sets, your RPE, rate of perceived exertion, it should be about seven to eight, meaning you'll be able to do about three or two more reps when you decide to stop the set. So you wanna be able to get at least nine reps per set. If you get 12 or 15, no big deal, as long as you're stopping when you have about two or three more reps left in the tank. That's for your first three sets. Set number four and five, that should be about nine RPE. So that's when it should be starting to get difficult. You need to get, remember, at least nine reps or more, nine plus. So you wanna stop when you have about one rep left in the tank. When it feels like you can only do about one more rep, that's when you can stop. The sixth and final set, that's where you go all out, balls to the wall. You wanna be able to max out. That's a 10 RPE. That means you could not do another rep. So you wanna make sure you're setting up your weight so that you can get at least nine reps on every set and you're getting full range of motion, good form, not breaking down or anything, at least nine reps or more each set without having to rest any more than 30 seconds in between each set. And that's 30 seconds, like that's not, that's 30 seconds max, not 33, not 35, not 31, 30 seconds or less. That is a very strict part of this method. Six reps by nine or more reps each set, resting no more than 30 seconds in between all six sets. So. Getting on to the parts of the movement, you'll notice the program will show you two parts of the movement. Each exercise will be focusing on one or the other part of the movement, contraction or stretch. Let's look at the bicep curl. So tempo, remember, four numbers. We have up, pause, down, pause. Each position has a number that represents how many seconds it should be. Let's say one second up, one second squeeze, three seconds down, one second stretch. One second up, one second squeeze. So you get the difference. So the top where you squeeze, that's contraction. The six by nine method will let you know when to contract and when to focus that in the set or when to lengthen and stretch it out. So some exercises focus either on the contraction or they focus on the stretch. In the bicep curl here, We'll focus on the contraction. Squeeze for a second, no pause at the bottom. Squeeze for a second. So we're not focusing on the lengthened part, we're focusing on the contraction part. There's no pause in the lengthened position, only the squeeze contraction position. So I'm gonna switch the dumbbell because it's starting to get a little bit heavy. But now let's focus on the lengthened portion. So we're gonna go up, no pause at the top, but lengthen it all the way and lengthen. So in this part of the movement, we're focusing on one second lengthen. No pause at the top. That's the difference between these two exercises. They're both bicep curls, but the first one I showed you is focusing on the contraction. The second one I showed you is focusing on the lengthen. So remember you get all those points right and you'll be able to completely get a huge pump in every six by nine method workout coming up. Focus on either the stretched or the contraction and you're gonna see a huge amount of growth in your intended targeted muscle groups that you're working in every single workout.